This is the Pythonic Accountant, and today we're going to continue exploring the image upload version of GPT-4. And uh, it looks like you can actually upload multiple files at the same time. So this is actually a way not to fully automate, but to maybe speed up that process of reviewing multiple invoices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select four completely different invoices. You can see these images that they are just not related at all in format. And I'm going to upload them all. I'm going to say open. And I'm going to say um, for each invoice, uh, please pull all relevant data and create a CSV format uh, text string that includes columns for vendor name, invoice number, invoice date, uh, line item description, um, units, cost, total, then add rows for each invoice for tax, shipping, discount, and any other relevant lines. Um, let's, let's just see what it's able to do. So this is pretty cool uh, conceptually. Let's see if it's actually able to do it. So let's scroll down and see. These are invoice templates. Uh, da, 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 da. They typically contain details. How can I assist you further with these? Eh, I already told you what I wanted you to do. That's silly. So I have two images up above, two more images there. Um, I'm just going to repeat what I said here. I want you to give me a CSV file. Let's see if it's able to actually do this. Sure. Awesome. Okay. So for invoice one, oh, don't tell me you're just going to do one CSV at a time. <laughs> That's okay. You know what? Let's just see what it does. Um, once it's done doing each individual one, maybe I'll just ask it if it can give me a combined CSV file with everything together. Interesting. It's giving me subtotal, paid to date, balance to date. Okay, that actually is helpful. It kind of reconciles. So you've got a total uh, minus the amount already paid. That's cool. You could do something with that. And that's not helpful. Additional discount. Maybe that's a line if there is a discount, but they don't apply one. Invoice three. It's getting some pretty good stuff here. I wonder how consistent these uh, tables are going to be, though. Okay, so this is good, good, but I want one large CSV string now that combines, or it appends all of these. Let's see if it can give me one large CSV string, and if it can, then I'll pull that into a CSV file just for fun. So now we've got the vendor name, invoice number, invoice date, line item, Description, units, cost, total. Looks like it's attempting. Again, I think we may have a little bit of data quality issues when it tries to pull the subtotal in for each one because that's going to add some kind of duplication. Uh, but again, it's something that we could probably uh, fix prompt engineering wise if we wanted to try and incorporate this into a workflow, right? Like if you don't want it to include subtotals, we can just say, please don't include subtotals. <laughs> and if you don't want it to include lines that have a, a blank dollar amount, like this additional discount line, it tells us a percentage discount, but doesn't actually have a discount. So I would probably say exclude that, not helpful. All right, looks like it did it. So I see one, two, three, let's see, Berg Builders, logo name and your business name. Well, I had four files, but it only gave me three responses. So I'm not sure what the deal is there, but hey, I'll take it. That's still a pretty good start. Looks like it ignored the test one for whatever reason. So let's uh, grab this CSV here, copy code, and let's pull up in a advanced data analytics uh, view, advanced data analysis. I'm gonna say, load this into a data frame and export to CSV. And I'm not gonna do any fancy recalculations here. I think that's good enough. and. Some of the invoices don't even have the relevant pieces to be able to recalculate it. Also, if you look at something like this where it says like two sets, you know, 
that's not going to be able to do easy direct math. We would have to convert that to an integer of two. So I think for ease, let's just leave it as is for now. Again, something that could be worked out later through an automated workflow, as long as you have a general gist of what type of data cleansing and manipulation you would need. So let's see where this one's at. It's taking the string that I gave it, pasting it into the data. Looks like it's hard coding it in one row at a time. <laughs> then it should be pretty straightforward from here. Turn it into a data frame and export it to CSV, and then it's gonna pop open a path for me to be able to download. Uh oh, looks like there's an issue. I'm wondering if there was something with the comma delimited nature of this where it was expecting more um, than it got, or other, vice versa, expected seven columns but passed eight columns worth of data. Probably an extra comma. Yep, invoice date, split into two values. Now this is cool, this is so cool. It not only noted there was an issue, it identified exactly where the issue was, told me which invoice it was related to, and then fixed it, it recreated it, uh, recreated the data frame and allowed me to download it without me having to do anything. So that that's pretty awesome. There are really some interesting uh, aspects about uh, GPT-4, and that's really one of the most interesting ones, is its ability to kind of intelligently correct issues. All right, so um, let's go ahead and pull open these invoice uh, line items and see what they look like. Okay, so if you can see here, I zoomed in, you've got vendor name, invoice number, invoice date, line item, units cost total. So inconsistencies in units and cost, you've got you know subtotal, pay to date, balance due, subtotal credit, all these different pieces that are not actually helpful or relevant, um, but still pretty pretty awesome. Um, you know, I'm curious. Let's recalculate this. So this should add up to uh, okay. So this should be the thirteen nine oh seven subtotal. Great. Now this fifteen percent discount. That's probably there's no uh, total there. So we almost have to apply that. So it's like <laughs> that times point one five probably negative that times 0.5 just for kicks let's see what that looks like is that 10 11 8 21 63 okay 10 8 21 60 okay cool so the 15 percent discounts on the subtotal they also got a credit and that math works that's awesome um and then you've got you know all these other line items deck repair kitchen island blah 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 blah, blah. so this is great. Um, to me, it's you know it's not perfect first go around, but definitely workable, and the kind of thing that is much nicer than having to manually extract information from a bunch of PDF files into this format. So, well, I'm impressed. If you are and want to see more like this, then please you know like this video and subscribe if you want to see more, and we'll see you at the next one.